Let's add a color to the background. For that, I drag the background code block in the drawing section above the draw sprites code block into this function draw code block. Let's give the color here as black. Next, we need to create the dots like Pac-Man moves to that direction when we press the left, right, up and down arrow keys. First, let's think about when pressing the left arrow key. I drag an if code block under controls here. Let's drag the key down code block in the world section for this condition here. Let's select left by clicking on the arrow in front here. When the left arrow key is pressed, if the Pac-Man needs to move to the left, Pac-Man needs to be given a direction as well as a speed. For that, let's drag the sprite.setSpeed and Direction code block under sprites into this if code block. The sprite is changed as Pac-Man and the speed is given as 50. How many degrees need to be given for the direction? Pac-Man is now facing the east. If it needs to move left, that means to the west, it needs to move by turning 180 degrees. So here, let's type 180. When the left arrow key is pressed, it is not enough to move only to the west direction. The sprite also needs to be rotated. A sprite.rotation code block under sprites is dragged like this. Let's give Pac-Man here and let's give the angle in which it needs to rotate as 180. Next, let's create the code for when the right arrow key is pressed. As before, click Ctrl and drag an if code block here. For the condition, drag the key down code block in the world section and select right from here. Now, the Pac-Man needs to be given a speed and a direction. Let's click sprites again and drag a sprite.setSpeed and Direction code block here. As a sprite, it is given as Pac-Man and the speed is given as 5. If Pac-Man moves to the right when the right arrow key is pressed, that means to the east, how many degrees does it need to turn from its current position? It is okay to turn a complete round. That means 360 degrees. So, let's type 360 here. Since the sprite needs to be rotated, click sprites and drag the sprite.rotation code block like this. Let's give Pac-Man instead of sprite and give 360 as the angle to rotate. Next, let's think about when the up arrow key is pressed. Again, I drag an if code block under controls here. For the condition here, let's drag the key down code block in the world section. By clicking on this arrow in front here, let's select up. If Pac-Man needs to move up when the up arrow key is pressed, Pac-Man needs to be given a direction as well as a speed. For that, let's drag a sprite.setSpeed and Direction code block under sprites into the if code block. The sprite is changed as Pac-Man and the speed is given as 5. How many degrees need to be given for the direction? Pac-Man is now facing east. If it needs to move up, that means to the north, it needs to turn 3 4 of a full circle and move or 270 degrees. So here, let's type 270. When the up arrow key is pressed while moving to the west direction, the sprite needs to be rotated as before. A sprite dot rotation code block under sprites is dragged like this. Let's give Pac-Man here and give the angle that needs to be rotated as 270. Now, all that is left to do is to create the code for pressing the down arrow key. As before, click Ctrl and drag the if code block here. The key down code block is dragged from the world section and select down from here for the condition. Now, Pac-Man needs to be given a speed and a direction. Let's click sprites again and drag a sprite.setSpeed and Direction code block here. It is given as Pac-Man as the sprite and the speed is given as 5. When the down arrow key is pressed, if Pac-Man needs to move downwards, that means to the right direction, how many degrees it need to turn from the current position? It needs to turn 90 degrees. So, let's type 90 here. Since the sprite needs to be rotated, 
Click sprites again and drag the sprite.rotation code block like this. Let's give Pac-Man as the sprite and give 90 as the angle to be rotated. Okay, now we have finished creating the first part of the Pac-Man game. Now, let's click the run button and see. If you made it in this way, you little ones are very talented. To see the creation you made, WhatsApp it to the number note 76 812 Tell your friends also about the creation. Send it to me and also send it to your friends to see this app. And one more thing, you too can join the DP Coding School Telegram group and try to be the DP Code Champ Best of the Week once every week. For that, keep in touch with us. Let's meet with an interesting lesson with DP Coding School. Have a good day.